Hello, my beautiful friends. I am so excited that I get to share some time with all of you today. My name is Joe. On the count of three, can everyone just say, hi, Joe, nice and loud. One, two, three. Awesome. And do me a favor. I haven't met you yet. If on the count of three, you could just say your name back to me. That would be awesome. One, two, three. Nice to meet you. I am really, really excited to be here today. I have a really cool story and a cool message that I want to share. But before we get into that, I say we do a quick little warm up. I'm going to need everybody to stand up. If you're in the classroom, make sure you have the distance. If you're at home, make sure you are standing up by your computer. Now, get your right hand in the air. And what I want you to do is I want you to shake your hand out to the count of seven and say it count as you're doing it like this one two three four five six seven now good take your left hand and do the same thing but this time a little bit louder please here we go one two three four five six seven and then we're going to go to our right foot one two three four five six seven and then left foot one two three four five six seven good that is the shakeout but we're not just going to stop there we're going to do it one more time. In fact, we're going to do it a few more times. We're going to count this time to the number six and go all the way through. We're going to repeat again and count to the number five and go all the way through. And then we're going to make it all the way back down to one. Here we go. Get that hand in the air, right hand. Here we go. Count to six, nice and loud. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. And scene. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nicely done, friends. Take a minute. Have a seat. Let's give Joe just a minute to breathe. Here we go. Awesome. Thanks for doing that. Now your body is nice and warm. The last thing I need you to do before we start is I need to get your voices nice and warm. In a second, I'm going to grab my guitar and I am going to play my favorite song of all time. Do you want to know what it's called? I love your face. I know, right? Kind of funny. In fact, it's something that I say to my kids and to students when I'm speaking all over the country. In fact, I want you to turn and practice saying this right now to a classmate. Look them in the eyes and just say, I love your face. Do that now. Awesome. The song that I'm going to share with you is all about loving each other's faces. This is a, a song that was actually written for me by a student. When I was at a school, he heard that phrase, I love your face, and he loved it so much that he wrote a song, and then I put it to guitar, and we're going to sing that, or I'm going to sing that for you right now. So after we sing this song, and you can sing it with me, uh, we're going to get right into the story. So I'll check back in with you in a sec. tomorrow I love your face today I love your face any day every day any way I love your face I love your face if your face was in a race get me in first place I love your ears I love your ears your ears I could stare at them stare at them for years I love your nose I love your nose, your nose is one of, one of my bros, I love your chin, I love that chin, deep within that smooth chin lives Jackie Chan, I love your mouth, I love that mouth, your teeth they shine, they shine so bright, you can see them way down south, I love your face tomorrow. I love your face today, I love your face any day, every day, any way. I love your face! 
Awesome. I love to play music. Do any of you like music? Raise your hand if you do. Cool. I can see some musicians out there. How about this? Do any of you, raise your hand, do any of you like sports? Raise your hand if, okay, some sportos out there. Awesome. Man, if you like music or you like sports, we have something in common. I wonder, in fact, I wonder if any of you can guess my favorite sport. Do you think it's football? Do you think it's soccer? Do you think it's baseball? Or do you think it's tennis? I'll tell you, if you thought and you said baseball, you would be correct. Here's my second question. Do you know my favorite Major League Baseball team? Is it the Minnesota Twins, the Philadelphia Phillies, the Chicago Cubs, or the New York Mets? What do you think? Make your guess. Do you know? If you guessed A, the Minnesota Twins, you would be right. I live in Minnesota. They're my hometown club. And I love baseball so much. And I, when I was little, I got to experience the moment of a lifetime. My favorite baseball player was a Minnesota Twin by the name of Kirby Puckett. Kirby, for me, was a difference maker. He made all the best catches. He had all the key hits. He was the best and the guy I looked up to the most. But here's the thing about Kirby. He wasn't just a difference maker on the field. Kirby was a difference maker off the field. I remember one time being able to get down to the field and meet a bunch of the players before the game. And interestingly enough, most of the players that came by to take pictures with like the little kids and their families, you could tell that they really didn't want to be there. They would give us a picture, but then they would walk away. They never really looked at us. They didn't talk to us until Kirby. Kirby said, come right on up. He got down on a knee. We took a picture together. We talked, we chatted. You could tell he really wanted to be there. And he made me feel so important. I will always remember that day and I will always remember Kirby as being a difference maker. Now, I keep saying the phrase difference maker. What does that mean? A difference maker is a person who uses their words or actions to make someone else's life a little bit better. And you might say, Joe, but Kirby didn't really do all that much. All he did was talk to you and take a picture with you. But that's the really cool thing about being a difference maker. It's not about doing these big, big things. It's about little things that all of us can do every single day. In fact, I learned a phrase from one of my favorite cartoons called The Cave Kiddos. And they say being a difference maker is not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. In fact, I want you to say that with me. Let's do that in kind of a repeat after me sort of motion. Say this, it's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. All right, let's say that together. Can you remember all of that? It's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. You're going to hear that phrase over and over as we turn on this episode of The Cave Kiddos. Watch as Finfin, fin, the main character in this episode, has to figure out what a difference maker is to him. And then after the cartoon, I'm going to come back on and I'm going to ask you a few specific questions. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll check back in just a couple minutes. <laughs> K kiddos. K K kiddos. K kiddos. K K kiddos. Our story today starts inside the home cave of Finfin, fin, a friendly cave boy who loved watching his favorite cave tune, The Difference Makers. And remember, it's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. It's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. Fin Fin looked up from the TV with more motivation than ever. That's it. It's time. It's time for me to become a difference maker. Fin Fin thought of everything that makes a hero a hero. A cape, a belt that had really cool gadgets, 
and of course, magical powers. But then, Finfin -fin started to get worried. Wait a second, I don't have a cape. I don't have cool gadgets. I certainly don't have any magical powers. Finfin -fin sighed. There's no way I could ever be a difference maker. What's wrong, Finfin? -fin? It's pointless. What is? I want to be just like the difference makers and use my powers to help change the world. But I don't have a cape. I don't have a belt or any magical powers. <laughs> Finfin, -fin, you don't need any of that, silly. Wait, what? I don't? No. You forgot the second part of the difference makers call. It's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. You don't need special powers or tools to change someone's day. I don't? No. You can use the power of your words and your actions. Watch this. Hey, Joan Bones. <coughs> Joan Bones, I just want you to know that I've noticed you're working really hard on your caveball team. You're a super great teammate, and it's so fun to come to your games. <coughs> See? Finfin -fin was suddenly excited. For the first time, he realized what the difference makers meant. He didn't need special powers or tools or abilities. He had the power of his words and his actions. He could certainly use those to make one person's day. See you on the school bus, Finfin. -fin. Where should I start, Fia? Who should I be a difference maker for? But Fia was already gone. Maybe you can help Finfin -fin answer that question. Who are some of the people that Finfin -fin could be a difference maker for? Think about it and discuss it with some friends. The next time you see Finfin, -fin, he'll have to decide who he can be a difference maker for. Until then, Let's say the Difference Makers chant together. Say it with me. It's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. Awesome. I really hope you loved that episode. Now, I have a few questions to sort of process through some of the things we just learned. We learned that being a Difference Maker is not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. But I have a few questions that I want you to answer, and some of them are the same questions that Finfin -fin has to answer. And the first question is this, who? Like, who can Finfin -fin be a difference maker for? And if you really wanna think about it, who's one person you could be a difference maker for? Maybe it's a teacher or a classmate or a family member. I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes to stop the video and have that discussion with your classmates. And again, you're answering who you can be a difference maker for. Awesome. The second question that I have for you is why? Now, this is a little trickier of a question, right? but it's really important that we think about it. So I'm going to, once again, turn it over to you to have that discussion with your classmates and your teacher, discuss why is it important that we're difference makers for other people. Great. Question number three is how? Maybe it's the most important, right? Like how can you be, a, we know who we wanna be a difference maker for, we know why we wanna be a difference maker, but how can we actually do it? Maybe it's by opening the door for somebody when they have lots of stuff in their hands, or maybe if somebody drops the stuff that's in their hands, we go and help pick it up. Those are just a couple examples, but my guess is that you can come up with lots of them. So have that discussion right now. So cool. So you guys discussed who you could be a difference maker for, why it's important to be a difference maker, and how you can actually make it happen. I'm sure you shared a lot of ideas on how you can be a difference maker, but I want to share my number one idea. I think one of the best ways that we can be a difference maker is to simply let our light shine. 
Let me explain. Every single one of you, I believe, has a light that lives inside of you. And I think part of the reason like we even exist is to share that light with others. And so my challenge for you is, who is one person you can share your light with? And think about how you specifically are going to share that light. I'm going to end today with a song. A song that I think inspires us how to be a difference maker by letting our light shine. This is called This Little Light of Mine. And if you have ever heard it before, I would love it if you sang it with me. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Here we go. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. No, oh, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. I go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let haters blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let haters blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let haters blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. One more time. Here we go. This little light. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. One more time. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful voice. Thank you so much for sharing your ideas. And most importantly, I want to say thanks for being committed to making a difference. You know, sometimes there are things that are going on in, in people's lives. And I think all of us need difference makers at times. And so that's my challenge for every single one of you is to find like one person every single day and be a difference maker for them. You don't have to do these big, big things, but it's important that we do the little things. Remember that difference makers chant. It's not about changing the world. It's about changing one person's day. You guys are awesome. Go out there and make your difference. Let's end with one final high five. Get your hand in the air. On the count of three, push it together, and then we'll just say, I love your face. One, two, three. I love your face. Bye, guys.